Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today I'm here at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada, my home casino. I'm here at the Shoot to Win Craps Machine, or the Bubble Machine. Now this is a community or stadium bubble machine. They do have individual cylinder ones, but there's a bunch of lights shining on the screen, so I couldn't really get a good picture for you. So I'm here at the Shoot to Win, and hopefully there's enough time with the automatic timer, I believe it's 20 seconds, that I can get my bets in. Now today I'm gonna to try to play a little more aggressive. I'm gonna call this the reinvestment plan. This is what I'm gonna do is start with $18 across all the numbers. Anything I win, I'm just gonna reinvest across the numbers. And then once I get to $40 or you know 36 to 40, I basically doubled my money, right? I'm gonna regress back down so I've collected my money. And then from there, I'm playing risk-free, right? So I'll then start pressing. I'll press and re uh, uh, reinvest and just see what goes. My thought is, my goal will be to try to get up to $100 before I cash out again, but we'll see just how the dice go. Now your local machine may or may not give some type of um, point or player tracking. Here they do not. All right, so here on this machine, you do have to make some sort of minimum bet. Um, I don't really wanna do the pass on because I'm gonna do all place bets, so you know what, I'm just gonna try the field for one dollar, get a point established, and then go from there. All right, change of plan. I guess on this machine, they're not gonna let you shoot at all unless you have a pass line, so I guess we're gonna play on the pass line. All right, establish a point. All right, so let's get on the numbers. We're gonna do $3. Uh, I'm just gonna do it here up top. We wanna place that, place. I'm running out of time. Okay, <laughs> barely made it, but I got it. So basically, to double my money, you're basically looking at four hits, depending on which numbers you hit, but. Okay, that didn't work out very well. All right, so let's just start on the pass line again, and we'll go from there. There's no one else here at the table, otherwise, you know, they could shoot and I wouldn't have to make this pass line bad. But. Push the button. When do you hit the button? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're out on the hard six. See this camera, if you're seeing this, it's a little, a little delayed, a little behind. All right, so let's get our bets going. Three. We're going to always buy the outside. Oh, and place the six and eight. And it probably, it would pay a little more if I did the odds, but then, you know, if I hit a point and the number changes, I don't want to worry about that. I just got my, my bets up top, my units. All right, let's see if we can get a little better roll this time. All right, three, we're not betting anywhere. We're just betting the box numbers. Four through 10, we're giving up, you know, those outside numbers. Which you can cover, you know, with the field or the horn bat, but I'm just betting on the good numbers, <laughs> which is subjective, right? Because uh, good numbers just depends if you hit it. Roly poly, another three, okay. So at this point we're wasting rolls. In this situation, the timer is actually too slow, right? I wanna go, 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 go.
That's why everyone says these machines are rigged. All right, well, we have enough for 10 shooters, so hopefully one of these 10 will be good. Oh, look at that, you do a dollar horn. It's 25, basically 25 cents on, I'll just leave that. Right, my bets are 18, I've got $20 per shooter, and yeah, why not? All right, we're out on the nine. Waste a dollar on the horn, but let's get our bets up here. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think there's a, I want that down here, a same bet button. Or repeat all, cancel all on. Maybe not on this machine. We'll see if the buttons change. All right, we've got a six. It's gonna pay, pay us 350. So I'm gonna power press, because I'm gonna actually add to the number, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna increase the inside numbers by a dollar. So we're, we're reinvesting that $4. Well, midnight, it's no good for us. Wasted roll. So yeah, I would have loved to show you on the, uh, we can control the pacing a little bit better on the individual cylinders, but I just couldn't get the cameras without getting so much glare. We finally hit a number. Pays eight seventy. We have a th so five five seventy on a three dollar bet. So we've got basically six dollars. Let's go ahead. We'll increase everything by a dollar. So you see, we have a twenty nine dollar bet. This is basically on. I think we've hit three hits. So basically, on the next hit, we will have enough. We can bring everything back down. Famous last words, right? If I can get one more hit. All right, we got it. So on a $5 bet, it paid nine something, so I could go across and that would be enough. So what we're gonna do, well, that's our point. So we can cancel all. Let's see, all off. We're just gonna get this set up while we have the time. All off. Yeah, so we got our money back out of it. Let's go ahead and get a new point established. Yo 11, front line winner. We want a dollar, we can waste it on the horn. <coughs> yeah, so the math works out, even if you hit the four and 10, that um, basically four hits, you, will, you can get your money back and regress back down. But now we can be a lot more aggressive. All right, we're gonna win both there. It's pretty good. Make the same bet. So with 25 cents on that, that's how much you're making about um, three something, $4. All right, 
we're out on the 10. So from here, instead of, let's see, turn all of our bets on. From here, instead of reinvesting across the numbers, I'm going to press a particular number because that's really, once the number's repeating, that's really where you're gonna kind of win the money. So I'll press up a number and then if it hits again, then I'll reinvest and we'll see if we can get our bet up to, you know, a significant money on the board and then we'll make a decision to regress or not. But here, since we've got our money back, we're just going for that big roll. Uh, now's the time to try to take advantage and win some money. I mean, overall, we're still down, you know, $40 because the first two shooters. So we need a pretty good win here. And crap numbers aren't going to help us. Just going to stick to the plan, stick to the box numbers. Press the button. All right, six. So when it's 350, I'm just going to, I'm going to press that up to six. Electronic machines are nice, e-tables, because you don't have to bet proper increments, um, pays down to the penny. And that's why, for instance, you always buy the outside numbers because it just makes sense. Pay, getting paid true odds minus the big, it still pays better than a place bet because there's no rounding. On a real table, they have to round down because you know the lowest chip they have is a dollar, so therefore it doesn't make sense, really. All right, we won for something. So let's go ahead, press that guy up. Basically reinvesting right into the numbers. Say, so shouldn't you be collecting? Yeah, I, I can collect a few bucks. I could have collected $4 there. But I'm hoping for that hot shooter, right? I'm rolling with him risk-free. Let's get some numbers going. All right, there we go. There's a good example. It's so now our seven, pays nine something. And with that nine, I'm gonna reinvest across all the numbers instead of pressing that one. So one, we're good there, we're good there. Let's take this up to six. It's four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll be good there. Get over there. Oh, I thought it was gonna roll to the six. All right, we had 34 out there. I could have pulled it back. I was going for a little bit more. All right, start over, new shooter. So this is kind of a hybrid where you're grinding at the beginning a little bit. But then after that, you're really um, being pretty aggressive. I think they'll call that a, well, let's see if they call it. It's an eight on a real table, but they might re-roll it because it's kind of cockeyed, yeah. We got an eight anyway. All right, our bets are up, plenty of time, getting the hang of it, and we'll see what happens. Basically looking for four hits on box numbers. Good little bounce, look pretty random to me. They roll around because the edges are curved. We're rolling a lot of horn numbers. That's because it knows what I'm betting on, right? <laughs> That's what a lot of people will say.
Good crazy bounce, give us a nine. I wish it would tell you just the win. It tells you the win plus your bet. So basically 428, that'll give us enough to press the inside. Oh, put that on a buy. I'm kind of bobbing my head to music, but hopefully the mic isn't picking up the music too much. YouTube doesn't like uh, this type of music, so we'll see how it works out. Press the button. Come on. All right, six. Easy six. We have four dollar bets, so we won four sixty-seven. It's enough to press the inside numbers again. And the outside four and ten again. That three dollar bet is going to pay six something. So about six dollars. we get there nine all right so we won seven so if we put it out there one two three four five six and we've got one more bet and we'll put it on the odds so we're real close um, I think I could have taken it down and almost been paid for, but it's all right. One more roll. All right, got the hard four. So paid us seven something. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel all of our bets and regress back down. So we've had an okay rolls, but now we've got a good bet out here, you know, $19 and with uh, no risk. All right, it's gonna pay us 570. That's close enough to do a dollar across everything. What do you say? We'll invest, we'll power press 30 cents. Oh, you know what, I forgot I was gonna press specific numbers. We'll do that next time. Because now that I'm rolling risk free, right? Push the button. Come on. Huh? Push the button. No, it's working okay. Okay, because like almost all of them over here worked. Oh really? Must be the storm like a power switch okay. or Alright, so we want a little bit there. What was that, our line bet? Oh, okay, that was our line. So let's go ahead, we'll bump that up. Um, we'll double it, right? What do we win? 10 on it? All off. I don't have a bet, so it's not gonna let me think. So I think it paid 10 something? I don't know what it paid. Well, it said 10, right? So it paid like six. So we'll just, I'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take it to 10. Really doesn't matter, the math's not that particular. All right, so winner on our front. It's a good time for the seven. We got a dollar to waste, so we'll throw it on the horn bet. Just protect our pass line bet. Mathematically, it doesn't make a difference. If you want your bets working, work them. Um, it doesn't really matter. Here the horn bet worked out. But for me, I've noticed if you're gonna have a long roll, there's always sevens involved. And you just hope that the sevens are when the puck is off. So that's just how I play it. I'll go ahead and repeat that.
Probably won a couple dollars off that, off the aces. Out on the six. So I think I'll go up to like maybe 50 bucks before I regress down. Um, but right now, oh, we want all on. Make sure our eights, that's really what we want to hit is our eight. And if I hit the eight, I'll spread across the numbers. Anything else, I'll just I'll press it. Here we go. Good little bounce. All right, we'll take the nine. This is going to pay us 570. So let's take that up. Right, that's close enough. We'll just take it to 10. We'll throw in the change, make it a nice round number. Looking for that eight or nine. All right, the five. Same thing, we're gonna win 570. Take that up to 10. And again, I'm being aggressive here. Uh, I have a profit if I pull everything down, but I'm, I'm going for that big win. I came here with money to play with, money to win with, so you can't be afraid to lose it all the time. All right, cool, there's that nine. So basically paid 14.25 as a buy instead of 14 as a play. So I think, well, I'm gonna turn that off so it doesn't automatically roll. So 14 basically, I can add two to everything. Let the counter go here. Oh, you know what? It's rolling because my, my dag on have a pass line. I thought I was going to outsmart the machine. So, let's see, all on. So basically, I've hit my $50. Um, bet amount. So let's go ahead. We're, we're regressing back down. All cancel. We got our dollar. I'm not going to get there. There's the seven. Actually worked out pretty perfectly. You can't time it much better than that. Uh, just pure luck. I was going to put 18 up, so. All right, we're coming out. So I was going to, my next level, I, I hit 50 and regressed. I was going to go try to go to 100 and then regress. So now we're going to start over, brand new shooter. And we're basically just going to try to get to that 40, 36, 40 dollars. Basically double our money and then get our money off the table for the shooter. Computer do our thing here. So we're gonna start over three dollar bets. And let's see if we can get four hits. Point hit. So let's see, let's go ahead and get our pass line. We, we'll use the extra dollar because we're gonna press the inside. We're gonna reinvest across numbers. dice just kind of 
boom. All right, we're out on the 10. We're using our previous wind to press those up a little bit. <coughs> so we essentially got one hit. Basically, we're, we're looking to get in that $36 to $40 range, and then we know our bets are paid for. Oh, didn't happen this time. That's okay with our previous shooter. We bought some more shooters, we bought some more time to have that big roll. Check my cameras here. All right, come out seven. We don't mind those when the puck is off. Oh, we got a dollar to waste, I'll hedge it with the horn. Right on the eight. Let's get a roll here. What do you say? Good bounce off the glass, three craps. And we've seen those earlier in the session. All this dead time here. Let's see, you can do hot bets if you want. You can open it up and bet your hot bets. There's no other side bet on this machine. There's the six. Three dollars wins 350. That's close enough to four. I'll spread it across the numbers. Oh, I want that up there. That is one thing I like about this. You can kind of drag your bets around. So we're reinvesting our four. And essentially that's just our first hit. Even though we're a couple rolls into the game. was ugly, like stuck on that seven and did not want to roll. Those are the kind of the weird rolls that people get all weirded out about, but. We're hanging in there. So that's what this first part is about, is just kind of buying time, buying more shooters. You could be ultra aggressive from the get go, Sometimes it will work out for you. But remember, an average roll is going to be eight and a half. So, you know, four hits on average can't expect much more than that. All right, we've got $18 across the numbers. there I really <laughs> so close to that 10 so there's two bad rolls in a row or three two three anyway not doing good we're starting to lose some money here we're hanging in there though
but we need a roll. Just any, even an average roll is what we need. All right, we're out on the four. This time, just because I remember, I'm going to do the odds. There's my three dollars there. It just gets confusing. That's why I normally don't worry about it. All right, give us some numbers, dice gods. Here we go. All right, we'll take the eight. When it's three fifty, close enough to four dollars to go cover to reinvest inside. So we'll bump everything up a dollar. So we're power pressing fifty cents. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Here we go. What we get? 12? That's not one of our numbers. Come on, here we go. Camera's glitching a little bit there. I have a camera on the dice, so hopefully you can see those well. All right, we'll take the eight. So we're going to win 467. Again, we're just going to reinvest. Reinvest that four dollars. Looks like we probably need like two more hits. in that four. All right, we hit our point. So our $3 bet won five. Let's go ahead and get on the line. We're doing three all off. Get a point established and then I'll kind of reinvest that five. So we're out on the 10. So let's go, we had $5 to play with, two, three, four. Um, oh, you can only do double odds, so we'll put it here on the buy. What's that? I hope so. Yeah, it's interesting. I've, I've seen that glass when it's crystal clear, so you got one. It's taking a beating a little bit. Let's stay on that four. Oh, the only one, because I turned it off. Look at that. Someone here on the staff was talking to me, and I... Oh, look at that. What a wasted roll. Here they only allow you double odds, that's why you can only put two dollars down there. Which is pretty cruddy. So place bet's always gonna pay more. That's why a lot of tables are three, four, five times odds. An equivalent place bet's gonna actually pay more until you're at five times odds and more. A lot of people don't know that. It pays true odds, fair odds but it doesn't pay as much as an equivalent place bet until you're, you know, five, 10, 15, you know, those type of odds. And most players don't do that. All right, race, wasted another roll. Ah, I really wanted that four. It's all right. So this one last hit will be enough or regress down. Hopefully I didn't just jinx that with the old one last hit. A little funky roll there. We got the 10, nice. So we hit our point, we won on both sides. 
So let's cancel all. Let's go ahead and get our pass line bet down just so we can roll. Can you do it from the don't? No. <coughs> all these electronic tables vary so much. Some of them you can shoot from the don't. Some, I know these cylinder ones over here, any bet will work as long as you, you know, it's a minimum dollar, any bet. So you can bet on the place six and get to roll. This one's just kind of old school. I want you to have a pass line to roll. All right, we're out on that six. And now we're, we're regressing back down to 18 across. Now let's press and spread, press and spread until we get to like 50 bucks out there on the table. Get some winnings here. And it's not gonna happen. It's okay, shooter didn't really hurt us any. We got up to our point where we can regress. I'm not sure how long this video has been going on. how long you'd want to watch this so Push the button. I think you kind of get the gist of it all right we're out on that five I'm using three dollars because it's a you'll be here all day if you start with one dollar Obviously, you can start with $5 units, $10 units, whatever you're comfortable with. But I figured this is a way to show a nice, you know, someone who comes in with $100 can play something like this. No problem. Right, we've been here a pretty good amount of time. We're still only down uh, $40, right? Funky roll, but we hit the five, we hit our point. So basically one four twenty eight off our place, so we can uh, press these all up. All off and get our pass line bet down. Yeah, we'll worry about the six here in a second. Press the button. So we come out on the five. Fever five, no field five. So let's go ahead and get this up to four dollars and let's get all our bets on. We should only be at three. Get over. All right, 12 railroad tracks. Wasted roll for me. On our third roll, but I've only had one hit. Another wasted roll. Should be all over that horn, Jeremy, right? If only, if only I could see the future. <laughs> that would be really helpful in this game. I love that in the comments. I get that in the comments. Like, um, you know, I roll a particular strategy and like, man, if you would have bet the, this is gonna flop. Another wasted roll, another horn number. <coughs> it's like, you know, if you would have just bet heavy on the 10, like I always do, you would have won a lot. I was running a strategy and I didn't know a bunch of 10s were gonna roll, you know, or man, if you would have just stayed on the six and eight and just kept on power pressing those. No, I was happy to show a, you know, a come betting strategy that day and I didn't know a bunch of six and eights were gonna roll. It's just, it's funny, once you see the results, 
um, we're all we all become genius gamblers. <laughs> Look at that. We hit every single horn number. What an icky feeling. Makes me want to pull my numbers down. Who knows, this might be the role. You never know. You never know. Maybe we're going to, for the ATS here, right? <laughs> we got the horns out of the way, now we're just going to roll of our box numbers. Oh, get over. All right, there's a nine, we'll take that. So we win 570. It's essentially enough to go across all the numbers. So we're power pressing that 30 cents. <coughs> any, any, any box number. Just one more dice gods. All right, four is a good one. So that one a 660, we can go across, but instead I'm going to cancel and regress, right? So we're safe on this shooter. Really no risk here. He won us enough money. Now let's see if uh, really we're gonna get that really big roll. All right, there's the nine. So we won four, let's go ahead and press it four. Now we're really just gonna go for that big score. Maybe get this up to a 50. before we consider regressing down again. Again, because just because we don't have any risk for this shooter. All right, there's the eight. Uh, wins 350. We'll just take this up. So now we got a proper bet on that one. Not that it matters here on these machines. So we're Rick really looking for that eight or nine. The other numbers are okay, but eight or nine is where our money's right, right? Because we're uh, get off that. Uh, okay. So I think you get the gist of how it, how I've been playing this. It's, I think I'm going to end this video here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing because I like playing. But I think what I'll do is put, I know you, some of you might think this is cruddy, but hey, that's part of supporting me and being a club member. Probably going to put the second half of this video in uh, my club as a private video. So unless I have a monster win and it's worth showing to you guys, probably just going to go ahead and put it in my club. So consider subscribing as a Color Up Club member on my website, colorup.club. Cancel anytime, um, but you'll get to see things like me continue to roll. All right, we'll see you, thank you.